Hello and welcome guys. Hope you are doing great. So today we will learn about how to execute PHP from command line. Okay. So let's start. So my window is window 11 and I am here going to type in environment variable. Edit environment variable. Select this path. Okay. Make sure you path is selected create a new one and here you have to add the value which value come here search for your install jam directory yeah when in your case maybe other so in my case that jam install in the directory then php and this path need to be copy copy this path and paste here and put the path name path so i have not clicked uh, okay yet so let's check here so after opening command from as i type here the php it is php is not recognized as an internal external command it is given the issue php minus b same issue it is given so let's close this and click on okay now you can see your path has been added here click ok again and re-verify your changes click on edit environment variable path you can see edit and you have added here Okay. and open again here the command prompt cmd and type for psp click enter it is taking time that means your changes have been made and it should work oh, it will take time to load everything uh, detail about the psp If it is it is taking much time just press ctrl c and use php minus b that will give you the php version so this has you can see php 8.1.12 is coming here same you if, if you have installed git you can also check the same thing from here php it will take time to give the output press ctrl c and check for php minus b let's cd test yes we have index file so php index index dot php you can see the output of php here so let me open this i have created a file directly test inside htdocs then i have index dot html hello world let's make a change here and try to execute this file again from command line you can see the changes hello world this is ram here Try scripting again, just the upper key, and again you see the changes here. Okay, so this way you can execute your PHP uh, file from command line. Okay, hope you have clear understanding how to use and how to set environment variable. Thank you, thank you for watching.